You might be noticing people around you coming down with COVID-19 more often. It's no coincidence. Cases across Colorado are rising faster than they were a few weeks ago. It's similar to a rise that we saw about this time last year. Now, thankfully, far more Coloradans are protected now through vaccines, prior infection, both. Our Kitty Eastman explains how the spike in cases is quite apparent even without having people test for the virus. There it is in its purest form, human waste. Straight from the sewer before South Platte Renew treats it. This is the first stop of testing. From this tube, scientists put a little bit into these tubes and send it off to be tested for the virus that causes COVID-19. We're, we're like the uh, canary in the coal mine, so to speak. We get to see it first and and uh, get an idea of what's coming in the in the future. Blair Corning, the deputy director of environmental programs here, says that glimpse of the future right now is interesting. Currently, we are having a big spike, like the second biggest spike. There was a big one back around December, and it's spiking up again. Data from BioBot, the company South Platte contracts with, backs that up. This graph shows the prevalence of the virus in Littleton and Englewood's wastewater. That last data point is from May 1st. I've been watching it. We get it uh, twice a week. State epidemiologists from the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment said in an email they are seeing a recent increase in COVID-19 cases, but there may also be a higher prevalence in the wastewater because people may be taking rapid tests at home and those results are not included on our dashboard. A spike on a graph is concerning, but state health officials still believe the high levels of immunity from vaccinations will help protect Coloradans from being hospitalized and keep that patient spike lower than before. For next, I'm Katie Eastman. COVID-19 hospitalizations have ticked up in our state, though not at the rate that we saw this time last year. Right now, there are 119 people in Colorado's hospitals that have COVID, and bear in mind, many of them may be in the hospital primarily for something else.